Hey everybody, this is Audrey from Country Stampers and today I'm going to show you a brief look at my craft room as we just begun to redo it. Um, it's going to be a small process over a few months um, to eventually get it to where I'm a lot more comfortable with it. So as you walk into my room from where we're standing right now and you can see my desk from when you walk in <clears throat> but as you walk in, I have this workbench that my husband had picked me up at Harbor Freight. Um, it has two drawers and a lot of storage underneath, which I'm still trying to organize it um, to keep some of my 12x12 12 12 papers and my 8x8.5x11s eight um, from Michael's. Um, because I do keep my papers separated from my Stampin' Up! papers. So these, um, this is the area that, these are the papers actually that I use for when I'm doing my mini albums um, and stuff like that, my 3D projects for um, parties and everything. So as you can see right now I have my Cricut Explorer right there. I have my little photo, photo studio set up um, to photograph my cards. And on the other side right there is my Cameo. Um, usually when my photo studio is not in there, my cameo is turned around so I can use that as well. So, and then I just have some miscellaneous stuff up here that I still got to organize, some projects, um, my little selfie printer, some extra cameras for my daughters. Um, I keep them up in my craft room. So, and then I have my cabinet. Um, right now that one is actually pretty stuffed with just some miscellaneous crap stuff for my daughters and over here I have some shelves um, that I put some more of my 3D projects on and you know and then down below I have these plastic shelves that I picked up at Michael's um, right now my TV is in the way because that's the other thing we're trying to move um, and I'm using these to hold all my current stamps um, I don't have them organized yet because I really don't have that big of a collection of stamps just yet. So let me turn off my TV. And behind my door, I have this shoe rack in all my vinyl, um, which is all disorganized right now. Um, I was working on a couple of vinyl projects for my daughter's softball. Above that, I have another shelf. And it has like my embellishment, my metal embellishments, um, yarns, buttons, all types of things for some of my um, antique projects that I work on. Over here are a couple of more of my 3D projects that I've made. And especially my little um, Graphic 45 mini album right there. That is one of my favorites. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Um... I just absolutely love that photo album. It has some pictures of my mother-in-law and my daughters when we went to the beach last year. So as you come down, um, I just did this yesterday. Not sure if I really like the colors, um, but it's nice, it's funny, um, and I like to put little sayings throughout some of my walls. Now that's my chimney wall, so it's a little bit harder for us to really hang anything on that wall, so vinyl is perfect. I picked up this cabinet here um, at Walmart and right now I'm housing all my ink pads, my punches, um, my clear blocks, um, some glue sticks and then down on the bottom I have some glitter and miscellaneous items that I still need to find houses for. Sorry about my garbage can. So as you turn there is my cutting station and as you can see I have the vinyl stuff out and my Stampin' Up! cutter and um, score scoring tool set to the side because I'm working on some vinyl and I'm just using my physics um, cutter to cut my vinyl with so and then above that again I have some shelves um, the two lower shelves I've been working on organizing them um, and now I just got to finish organizing the top 
that's just a bunch of more embellishments my bind it all rings um my daughter's uh knitting looms are in here as well some more embellishments over there and my tool and then we're going to come down into this corner here and i have my four cube unit that has my um ot light on it and that one has um all my 12 by 12 paper packs from like Michael's, Joann's, uh, Graphic 45's in it. And then I have a couple of tote boxes there that um, I have some of my pre-made cards, some of my card kits um, that are available. So, and then on top of the first work, the first toolbox, I have the spinning tool holder from Harbor Freight. And I'm slowly filling that up. I actually love that. Um, it's going to house a lot of small things for me. I have my big shot set up on my first work, uh, first toolbox. Some diaper wipes. Every craft room has to have diaper wipes because they're easy to clean our hands, um, clean up messes. And I also use them to clean up my Cricut mats as well as my silhouette. So the first toolbox... Um, I tried to film this the other day, and because my craft room is so small, it's kind of hard, and I'm short, so it has, like, all my tools, um, extra stuff over here, in here, um, my corner rounders, my big chomper, um, and then I have my extra big shot stuff right there. The next drawer has more of my cutters, um, my Stampin' Up uh, grid paper mat is in here, extra snail adhesive, my envelope punch boards and all that are over there. Um, and this drawer here, let me move this tote. This drawer, I absolutely love how this drawer turned out. Um, I'm not really usually good at organizing, sorry. Um, but over here, I have these little totes that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they were on my shelves. So I decided that I was going to put them in here. And I have all my rubs um, for my projects. Extra red tape and easy tear tape for my mini albums. Back here, I have some of my Tim Holtz sponges. Some more Zots. Um, just miscellaneous glue here um tape runners that I use um for my other projects so in here I have all my cuddle bug folders in this big one um and then right next to it I have all of my stampin up um embossing folders as well and these are just perfect little storage units storage pop totes that I picked up at Home Depot these ones and behind there, I just have some of my little composition notebooks that I alter. I'm not going to open up the bottom because it's still um, pretty much disorganized. I have two boxes under there. Um, so when I'm working on some projects, I just go ahead and pull those out. Um, one holds all my Michaels paper scraps and one holds all my Stampin' Up! scraps. So then here's this tote here, and this houses all of my Stampin' Up! basic papers, my black, um, my Whisper White, my Whisper White Thick, and my Berry Vanilla, and my vellum papers are also in that tote right there. And that I bought at Walmart, and it was actually a Christmas tote. Um, so in between the two boxes, I have all my camera cases. Um, right now because currently all three of the major cameras are out and being used. So now here is the second toolbox and I have to say um, I'm not a traditional crafter. I like my toolboxes. Um, to me it's more me. Um, plus they have a lot of storage in them and I love the wood counters on both of them. They're just absolutely beautiful and they're black. So they go really well with my theme. Um, over here, I have these magazine holders um, that I purchased from Amazon. Um, 
I forgot how much they were, but I'll put the link below. Um, they're great for holding up the eight by ten, uh, eight and a half by eleven um, cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I have them separated. This one is um, just a little mixture of some, maybe an extra pack or two. These are my um, by color choice, by color groups. I'm sorry. Here I have my hard drive. Um, my external hard drive and some notepads for when I need to take some notes. Over here I have of course a candle. Um, I have some other little tools, um, paper clips, my printer with one of my DSL DSLRs cameras. Eh, I just call it my big uh, digital camera that I do photography work with. And up here is another cabinet. Um, I picked these cabinets up about four years ago at Home Depot. They were on clearance and my husband and my son told me that I was a fool if I walked away. So I picked them up. They were in um, one of my other craft rooms. Over there, there's that empty wall right there. Um, we're thinking about moving my Stampin' Up! stamps to over there for me. Um, so we're going to do some measurements tonight up here. We're going to be taking down these pictures, um, as well, um, and putting a nice little shelf unit up there for me to be able to put a display up if I want to. So now as we come around, here's my window and we're back towards my desk. I have this unit, um, that I purchased individually from Michael's and, um, this is the top part, which you'll actually see on my desk when we get over there. This had the insert for the pens in it. I actually took it out um, so I could have some more storage. Um, so I picked up these little tray baskets at Walmart. I think they were like... <coughs> oh, sorry about the cough. Um, I can't remember if that was the two-pack for... Uh, 97 cents or if those maybe were three in a pack but still it's a great deal to pick those up um, I have my sponges I have my re-inkers I don't have a lot I'm still trying to build up my stash up here I have my um, what is this this is some of um, that gl uh, glue I have some of my glitters um, currently I have a recollection one in there um, and then I have some of my buttons and my brads and some metallic um, embellishments over here I have more of my embossing powders that I've separated into containers it makes it a lot easier when I'm working on a project down here I have my extra blades which unfortunately right now we're not able to order so um, just make a note of that right now. Um, I have an empty one right here. So down here I have my extra dimensionals, my Stampin' Up! stickles, um, extra adhesive, and the drawers. Um, those are some miscellaneous um, miscellaneous adhesives that I use for my mini albums that I make. Here I have my older Stampin' Scrub. I have my piercing mat. I have my little basket with my embellishments. I was just using that this morning. Um, and then I have oh, more embellishments. <laughs> then I have my pad that goes with our dye brush. And then I just have this little tote. I don't know where I got it. Um, and I have my sponges in here. So if I don't have a dauber, one of these I will use one of my sponges I will use one of my punches stamp it out and write the name of the ink that I used on it and then I just slide it in here so now over to my desk um, as you can see I'm a Mountain Dew fan so um, this is still a little more work needs to be done to it but there's that pen unit that I pulled out of the other one now these little baskets are container cabinets. I picked up on Michael's on clearance last year, so unfortunately I haven't seen any more of them. 
So, and there's another one of my Audi lights, and I have some pictures of my daughter, my son, my grandchildren. Um, actually, nope, none of my grandbabies are on that wall. Um, and then my first watercolor uh, thing that I was trying out. I have, again, a couple of those black baskets on my desk um, just to hold my supplies. And this desk is the art desk from Michael's. Um, my husband picked it up for me a couple of years ago. So, and there's just a bunch of totes underneath right now with my um, cinch that I use for when I make my daughters their little projects. And I have some wires still that need to get tied up. Um, my husband had to go pick me up some more zip ties. So, unfortunately, um, I don't have a, a place for my computer. So, I'm using one of the folding tables. Um and made like a little island with it um, so that way I can do some computer work um, and if I need to move it it's really quick and simple to move it out of the way so we are you know in the midst of trying to build something um, here that still gives me the walk room so I can get easily by and stuff like that so here's the third cabinet right here and that was another one that we picked up on clearance at um, Home Depot a few years ago. So, and above that, my husband made this shelf for me to go from cabinet to cabinet. I have my E2 up there as well as my Cricut Mini. Underneath those is two black um, photo storage boxes. Those actually have some of my cartridges in it um, because that's the machine that we actually use with my two younger daughters. And I actually think that other box, too, has more cartridges in it. So, now, here's my big, messy shelf, as we started with. And that is actually slowly going to be replaced um, and cleaned up. Um, my husband found a, another type of cabinets that he wants to put over there for me. Now, if you see those red little bins, um, I picked those up at Home Depot. I think they were like $8.99. It came with all those. And it came with these plastic bars that you can put up at the wall and you can just hook them in. Well, I decided, here we go, to spray paint them and put them up on my shelf. And that way now I have little compartments where I can store some of my embellishments, some of my... um other items tools and stuff like that so it works really good um, and I love them so I got to spray paint the other ones this summer so and then these little black baskets here I picked up at Walmart um, I can't remember I think they're like a dollar ninety seven but they're perfect they can hold some of the smaller um, items like this one here let me shut this light down so we can see um, I have these little bins. They came in this carrying case from Michael's. Um, it was on clearance in the um, carrying cases were broken, but the bins were in perfect shape. So, and I think I picked up the, the whole thing for like $1.49. So, and then I have my cuddle bug, um, not my cuddle bug, my um, gypsy and some of my Cricut tools. Over here I have my 6x6 and um, paper packs and some more miscellaneous items over there and then I have my bind it all over here with another one of my tape guns and my Xeron um, tape dispenser in the back there and then I have my little Christmas candy box over here that I never finished all my projects so um, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to email me and I will get back to you. Um, oh, one other thing. I have this little tote here. Um, it lost its home when we moved a couple of the big three cubes around. Um, but this one holds like um, some more scrap papers. It also ho holds my scrap uh, chipboard in some of my scrap vinyl and this is actually 
what inspired the coordinating color to come into this room was this taupe because I actually fell in love with this color. So I decided to add it into my black and beige um, theme room to just add that splash of color. One other thing is I have, here's the three cube over here. And this is holding right now, um, well, in front of it, <laughs> it has my step stool that I have to use. Um, but this right now is hosting some of my chipboard papers on the second shelf there. Um, up on the top is some of my business paperwork, some notepads, um, my catalog for the craft room um and then down on the bottom i have some picture frames over there that i am filling up with some pictures to put on this empty spot of my wall right here and then over in the corner i have some more vinyl um two or three of my tripods because as most of you know i also do photography work on the side so i have um quite a few tripods um, plus I also have one in my photo studio kit. So, um, I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video here. Oh, these lamps right here. These are not Audi lights. Um, I had read up on one of my photo, um, groups that I belong to, um, for some lighting, um, because where I'm just starting out with the photography, and it suggested to just pick up these clip lamps that you could pick up at Walmart and get the daylight um, light bulbs. Um, if you pick up the Walmart daylight ones, make sure that you're not getting the dimmable ones. You get the regular and they're like $2.97 a light bulb and they give beautiful, beautiful lighting just like the Audi lights. Um, and they're a lot cheaper. I mean, I love my Audi lights. It's just right now um the light bulbs are kind of on the expensive side for me so i wanted to save some money while i'm redoing my craft room so i tried these out and let me tell you they are good um i love the lighting check out my blog i actually just photographed um a card today using them so um it's just you know another way to save a little bit of extra money for you so, okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, again, just give me a ring, and I will answer you. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye. <laughs>